In this video, I will be explaining currency management in Odo 13. Odo is an universal ERP package which accommodates the global standards. In Odo, the user can configure multiple currencies for the transaction, set its exchange rate and assign different currencies for individual partners. It is a default feature in Odo and the user just has to enable the option and configure the values. Let's check how currency is managed in Odo 13. Let's go to accounting module. Here in configuration settings, search for currency. Here you can see multi currencies here. Enable it, I already enabled it. And here we can see a journal exchange gain or loss journal. It means it records the difference in payment registration and the expected amount. If we receive payment against an invoice after a month of invoice, the exchange rate most probably will be changed. This rate difference is used to create journal entry of loss or profit caused by the difference of currency exchange rate. Now let's go to configuration. Here we can see multi currency here. Let's check it. Here we can see currencies. Go here. These are all the active currency we can see. If you want to create a currency, we can create by clicking the button. We can give all these details here. Or else we want to see the currency rate here. We can see for the currency euro. This is the current rate. And in order in the phrase, the currency rate is updated automatically. And this is how multi currency is activating by clicking active. Both currency will be activated these three currencies are activated in this company and now let's check how configure your chart of accounts and let's go to configuration here we can see chart of accounts here and these are all the accounts here if you want to create create here here we can set the code let's give a name here we can set the type here if you want we can set the tags here we can see the account currency let's give a currency here by doing so all the moves from this account will be made in this currency on each account we can set a currency if we leave it empty it means that it can handle all active currency this is how currency is set in chart of accounts now let's see how we can configure currency in journals go to configuration here we can see journals these are all the journals here let's create one while creating here we can set a name here we can set a type here and company here we can set the bank accounts bank and all here in journal entries here we can see the currency here so we can configure different currencies for individual journals if we leave it empty, it means that it can be handled all the currencies that are active. This is how currency management is done in Odo 13. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.